Hey you guys, happy, for me, happy Saturday. <laughs> so I've been telling you guys that I am redoing my bedroom where I'm actually going to like start showing you guys the process now because I finally got everything coming in. I think it's been over like three or four months since I started this. So we are going to start with a canvas. Now I know a lot of people are doing these canvases from um, Amazon where they also go and they purchase their own two by fours or two by ones and they cut them down into like a frame to do like, like a canvas print and then they tack it on with a staple gun and all the other stuff. I got a staple gun, I don't got no staples. I don't feel like going to a hardware store with three kids. So I've had this canvas for probably a month and a half. <laughs> and I'm about to attack it. So I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. And I will, if I, if I remember, I will try and link this particular canvas down below in the description box. It is from Amazon. And mine is quite big. I have a king size bed and it kinda goes over the mattress, like on the sides. Cause right now I'm gonna add some uh, paint to it. So I probably really, really should not do that on top of my white mattress, but I don't sleep on the mattress. I sleep on the sheet that's on top of the mattress, so it is what it is. So I'm going to go ahead, finish this other half of the smoothie, and then I'm going to kind of set you, I'm going to try to set you guys up so you guys can see what I'm doing, and then I'm going to show you the technique I'm going to use to put them, to put this canvas up above my um, bed. Now we don't have a headboard, we just chose not to have one. Um, and I'm going to do like a different technique. One that's a, actually a lot cheaper than buying the 2 by ones Plus we're renting and I don't want to put that many holes in the walls that I have to go back and fix. So I figure this might be a better idea. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do. Plus, I'm going to have to pull out my sewing machine because I need to sew it down so it'll be a little smaller. But I think it's going to come out really, really cute. So I'll show you guys what that looks like. All right. So as you guys saw, um, of me going over this canvas that is currently sitting on my bed. Um, I will try to throw up an actual picture of what it looks like on the screen, but I brought out my container of acrylic paint and it's basically all acrylic paint except for like three of them. And I am going to be dabbling in some gold paint and I just want to put like a little bit of gold throughout the trees the trees that are in here because this is like a forest type look that's going on on this canvas so I just want to add some gold throughout here so that way when it's up on the wall it kind of goes with the room yeah that's what I'm about to do right now I just gotta find me a paintbrush all right so I couldn't find a paintbrush but that's okay they're probably in a container in the back room somewhere and I'm not going back there because the kids are back there being loud so I'm going to go ahead and just um, stick with this one acrylic paint right here. This is um, a metallic acrylic paint multi-surface uh, from the brand Handmade Modern. So that is what it is. And then uh, I'm just going to go in, you know, with some um, Q-tips, you guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go in with some regular old-fashioned Q-tips. And I'm gonna add uh, my own little personal DIY spin on this, okay? This is this is do it yourself here, okay? And I'm gonna do it myself with some acrylic paint. And this shade happens to be called Metallic 20K Gold. If you can see that, so Chanel, let's do this. Thank you. 
so I don't know if you guys can see but I finished the canvas is dry at least the paint is and I did get you know some spots on my mattress but you know it is what it is but let you guys see let me see if I can straighten this back up I do have my little um, sewing clips here because I'm going to sew this because it's too long instead of me cutting it I want to sew it down just in case if we move and I want to reuse this again I can just take out the stitches and on this side here I've already started sewing it and then I'm gonna sew this part up some and then the top I'm um, the very top I'm gonna sew it down um, some because it's a little too big still um, as you can see it is still it's not as big as my bed now but it's looking nice it's just wrinkled all right you guys so here's what I got I already done sewed it down as you can see my stitching um, this is the bottom that is the top and I just have some thread here a, a hand needle and some thread and I'm just taking this let me show you let me flip a, flip it over and I'm just actually um, hope you guys can see that because it is kind of dark now I'm just tacking this to this at the very end here um, where's the middle one I just did like right here so it won't you know flap open I'm not and I did it here on this end. This is the top, so I'm not gonna do it up here, but I will be doing it along the bottom. Alright, so how I'm going to hang this up is just I have this um curtain rod here, okay? From Walmart. I think it's like under three dollars. This is the size I picked up. And luckily I made this part at the top big enough to slide this through. Now you don't have to, I also got other items that I could have used. Um, and let me show you what those are. Um, I, ooh, focus, focus, okay. Jaden! So I also picked up these rod clips. Yeah. You're too loud. Okay. So I also picked up these rod clips that I could put on here and then just clip it onto the fabric if you guys can see that but I'm not gonna use them there's like 14 of them and I think this costs like less than two dollars so I won't be using these I think I'm just gonna stick with using the rod all right you guys so once again I have a king size bed okay so I have a king size bed and I had to sew the tapestry and stuff like that and I added the gold paint and I used a curtain rod to put it up and uh, that is how it's looking you guys cheapest way to do it under five bucks I'm saying under five bucks like if you have a sewing machine and you are able to do this yourself and if you already have acrylic paint um, putting up this artwork on the wall Okay, maybe not under 20 bucks. I'm, I, mean, I mean, under five bucks. Including the tapestry and the, the fixings to put it up under $30 for this very, very gorgeous artwork. Now, I will probably later on actually make a canvas out of it and pull it, taunt, and, you know, use a staple gun and all the other stuff. But for right now, it looks perfect. So I'm going to get closer for you guys so you guys can see the gold in there. I'm pretty sure you guys can probably see some of it. <sighs> But, uh, yeah. Um, I do have a steamer. So I'm going to use my steamer while it's up here on the wall. And steam it to get all the wrinkles out. Woo, come on, focus. Camera. Camera, there we go. Yeah. So, I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. If this will focus, hello, there we go. <laughs> so that is what it looks like. I end up cutting it down to about 66 inches um, across, and I believe it's um, 43, no, 49 inches down. So 66 across and 49 inches down. All right, so if you guys like this tutorial on how I just this did this very easy and cheap canvas 
I say canvas, but it's a tapestry artwork on my master bedroom wall, then um, let me know by giving me a thumbs up or leave me a comment down below. Um, some people might not see this as a DIY. I do because I did this myself with a tapestry that was super big. Um, I didn't cut anything off. I just sewed it. So that way if I want to reuse it later on, I can. And like I said, I will leave the link where I got this tapestry down below in the description box. I got it from Amazon, by the way. And um, the goat paint, the goat acrylic paint you can find at Walmart. So if you don't have any of this and you need the acrylic paint too, you can more than likely get this for under $35. Okay? Under $35 to create something like this. Um, yeah. So... <laughs> That's all I want to share with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will talk to you guys the next time. Bye.